I was really, really overjoyed during the semester to see this look up between groups. That it was, it's all about getting the job done. And that's what teamwork is all about. You run into troubles, you fix it. If you have deficiencies in skills, you fix it. Well, who can do that for us? Who can want as a partner? Um, borrow some of their time or pay them to do something. That's the way research goes. And to see that that happens nicely in the class now, in the view on the verge of disaster, it can happen to anyone. Serious things can go wrong with your projects when you're doing your research. It's a question of, do you have maturity to say, okay, we've got some shit here, what are we going to do about it? Um, can we salvage what we've got? Can we get together, draw some help from someone else? And that's the way research goes. And that people are doing stuff, I don't know, they want to do, we've got some protein, they need to do some work, what we do? Oh, we need to express that gene. And then you get collaborative teams forming. And when you join research programs, especially when you get into your uh, TV, you want to do projects with me, a lot of projects with you. And um, we have a lot of people that work in <coughs> genes, plant genes from <laughs> human genes. I said, well, they're, they're eukaryotic genes. You know, all these genes, you're going to want to do things with the proteins that those genes code for. So you're going to have to express that. So I thought, well, how about we um, set up some eukaryotic gene expression system, pretty easy in bacteria. You do it for water genes and things all the time. But uh, I thought well, we should get some yeast um, expression system at the time. It seemed to be the most obvious one to go with, although there were the caterpillars and some other ones. Um, I just rode away to America. <laughs> God, it's about animal. Who, who makes the best vectors? Well, what's going on here? Right to the lab said, is there any way we can access those expression <coughs> vectors? I received a package in the mail less than a week, week later with agar stamps of right. these yeast vectors. I mean, you have to declare these with <laughs> quarantine. You're not allowed to send those sorts of things internationally. Um, a bit of Ebola. Uh, no, so I, so I had these, the latest yip and yak expression vectors for yeast, and all I did was ask them. He didn't want any money or anything. He just thought it was wonderful. Someone else was getting into the game. So you'd be surprised how much support you get from other scientists. So, and it's so important in your honours here. You've all had a taste now, you've all been exposed to techniques that you know nothing about, okay? You've had to somehow get your way through it. Luckily you had a bit of friendship along the way because you had six or eight people also in the same boat. Um, but when you're doing research, don't be afraid to go and ask for help because it's quite flattering to those people. Oh, they've got my help. And usually you'll be surprised at how much generosity you will get from other scientists who understand. This is new to you. We'd like to pass on our expertise, not when you've got an invitation. Come to my lab and I'll show you how to do this. It was, so I looked way beyond. I looked internationally. I just looked, look who, who's got the best one? That one. It's over in the States. And look what happened. So don't be shy to ask for help. It doesn't make you look stupid because it's all new to you. Okay? For us as, as, as supervisors, we expect that. For people, if most of you, if you do wrong, this will end up at IBI. If you go to IBI, you will, you're at that stand. You're a new student, there are new techniques, and one of the first things you want to do in your career is to kit up, to tool up with as many techniques as you can. That makes you very employable, very useful, and very attractive, should you want to move on to another lab. Now, a lot of people just treat labs that fully. I've just come here to learn how to do that technique. Um, I even see it in, in public, in, in, in private industry. Uh, my wife works at QML, and there are people who will come and they'll work in the lab, so I want to work out how, how do you do the, the, those particular array analysis of the or what. Once they've got the technique involved, I'm searching for another lab to learn more, to become more and more employable, more and more skilled, more and more important. And with that career-wise, strengthen your careers by learning as much as you can. You'll always be the student. There'll always be new techniques, maybe. There'll always be new expertise in particular labs. And really, you can, you can mess around with a technique for six or eight months before you've really got it perfect. You could have gone straight to the lab that already has it perfect and in a week or two. Got all those little, little tidbits that, that make it 
it works really well. Um, I guess the exact word that you know, is the difference between clouds. <laughs> Who would have thought that? <laughs> that it's just in-house little, little technique. So, look, we're saying goodbye now. No. Oh, <laughs> in your report. It's been a huge yeah, journey. Look, it, it's yeah, been. Work. 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 Work.